A tumultuous relationship ended in tragedy on Tuesday after a man killed his common-law wife and then took his own life. The community of Embakade, San Fernando, heard screams coming from Building 5 at around 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday. Neighbors were alerted to the scene of the murder-suicide by a child and had to break down the door to get into the apartment. There, they found 36-year-old Adina Alain chopped to death on the floor of her bedroom. A common-law husband, 37-year-old Dwight Waldrop, was found hanging in the laundry room of the apartment. She went to work, so the children was there with him. So she actually went to pick the children up. That's right. Yeah. And that was it. Even the boy up to just now, he was saying, my throat still hurt me because daddy was squeezing his throat. Because as after he cut her throat, he was squeezing his throat. And he telling him that, your mother make me do this, your mother make me do this. Ms. Arundel confirmed the couple had a stormy relationship and said Waldrop was reported to the police on several occasions for making threats on the woman's life. Waldrop's cousin, who grew up with him like a sister, cannot understand what went wrong. She remembered him as a happy, carefree child. She said later in life he became very violent and had a drinking problem. She recalled telling him on several occasions to end the relationship. Walk away. Just walk away. It's sad and now the two children have no parents. That is real sad. That is real, real sad. Alain's family is making an appeal to members of the public to be sensitive and stop sharing images of the incident on social media. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service is encouraging anyone who may be experiencing any form of violence and or threats to reach out for professional help through the TTPS's Gender-Based Violence Unit, the GBVU. Following the murder-suicide in Embakade on Tuesday, the TTPS, through its Victim and Witness Support Unit, the VWSU, and officers attached to the San Fernando Police Station, met with the surviving relatives and neighbors of the deceased couple to provide counseling and critical incident stress debriefings. The VWSU team will maintain close contact with the family and provide further intervention during the difficult period ahead as the unit fulfills its mandate of delivering support to victims and witnesses impacted by these brutal and ill-fated circumstances. The TTPS also stresses the need for members of the communities who may see something to say something, as we all do our part to reduce the likelihood of persons falling victim to gender-based violence.